Factory order a new car, your dream car. You want an exact color or you have specific add-ons or trims that you want? No matter the reason, a factory order is much simpler and even cheaper than most people think. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's video on factory direct special order cars is brought to you by the Homer Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers and a very savvy group of auto experts to boot. We're going to help you understand the basic process of ordering a new car from the factory, a special order vehicle right to your own specs, and all the advantages it gives you as a new car buyer. We're also going to smash a few of the myths about inconvenience to the dealer and the implications a special order has on cost, and then we'll wrap up with our seven tips on how to place a factory order. All that right here today. If you appreciate the Homework Guy team working on your behalf, and you want to support our efforts, well, there's plenty of ways for you to get on board and show a little appreciation. Start by recommending us to your friends and help us get to that million subscriber mark. Many people think a factory order is a big deal for a car dealer, like they have to do a lot of extra things, trade some favors, get factory approval, and a little cash under the table in the dark of night, check to make sure nobody's listening, all the mystery that dealers love to wrap it up with. With the illusion of a special order hassle, the customer should expect to pay a lot more, right? Hmm? Well, wrong. Here's a clue as to how easy a factory order actually is. You've all heard of this company called Tesla, right? Well, of course. But maybe you didn't realize that every order of a Tesla vehicle is a factory order directly from a car buyer. No dealer middleman, just the buyer and the factory. Every order. Now, if that was really tough, wouldn't they find an easier way to do it? Well, it's because it's not tough. And Tesla loves the direct-to-consumer model for a number of reasons. But the point here isn't Tesla. It's that it should be telling you something. Factory orders are not only easy, but they're very convenient for both the dealer and the manufacturer. You might have concluded that if Tesla loves it, so do other car manufacturers. If that's what you're thinking right now, well, you're dead on the money. We can proceed here with the understanding that factory orders are easy, convenient, and desired by the dealer and the manufacturer. If you like getting a new car and you're a bit picky, well, you're in luck because factory orders are awesome. Now, this doesn't mean that just anyone is a good candidate for a factory order. So let's consider why you might consider a special order factory direct custom car. Factory orders are ideal for the following reasons. Number one, you want a custom color or options, and you can't find the car you want within a reasonable distance. Number two, business reasons. Maybe you need the car to have a specific look for your work and your company. Number three, avoid paying for things you didn't want or need that the dealer put on cars they have on the lot. Wait, did I just say that a factory order could save you some money? Yes, I did just say that. Number four, Get a unique vehicle that might have better market value later. One of a kind. Wait, did I just say a factory order could be a better investment too? Yes, I, I did just say that. Number five, you're more likely to get a car that's in high demand. Wow, so you can improve your odds too? Yes. Six, it's an easy sale for the dealership without any overhead costs or costs of being in inventory so you can negotiate a better Deal. Wait, I just said for the second time that a factory order car can be cheaper. Yes, I sure did say that. All right, if a special order factory direct vehicle is what you had in mind, you're probably more excited than ever about it right now. Well, before you run off and do your order, there are a few additional things you should know. Not every automaker will let you order your vehicle when you want to. Honda and Acura, for example, have historically only done their orders on a quarterly basis. That means you could wait a while to get a place in line, and you'd better get in touch with a fleet manager right away to do it. Also, if a car is going through a highly anticipated redesign, the dealership may have very little to say with a factory order. You see, manufacturers look at previous sales records for each dealer and other factors including their customer satisfaction scores and allocate vehicles accordingly for shipment. If a dealer near you had a bad year, they could be on the short end of the stick when it comes to getting the new models. If that proves to be true, I'd just move along and find another dealer. To start this process, I'd suggest getting in touch with dealers near you 
and find out who can do the most to help you. Simple as that. How long does it take? Well, it largely depends on what kind of vehicle you want and where it's shipping from. Most special orders will arrive in an 8 to 12 week time frame, but there are cases where it takes 16 weeks and sometimes a little bit longer. The longer time frame will typically be vehicles from Europe, while shorter time orders will be US based manufacturers. If this time frame is just way too long for you and your local dealers don't have anything close to what you want, well, you have a couple of options with stock vehicles. Do some travel. Go to a dealer that has the car that you want to buy. Just set everything up beforehand or ask a dealer near you to do a dealer trade. Expect the vehicle to have a few hundred miles on it because they generally drive them when trades are done, but that's another way to get a car to you without making the drive out of town. Let's assume that you've decided to go with the factory order. Where do you start? The homework guy tips for custom ordering a car. Number one, decide what you want. The whole point of custom ordering a new car is to personalize your car. So visit the automaker websites and figure out what your next vehicle will be and how you want it equipped. With most manufacturers, you have a laundry list of options to sort through. You can build the entire vehicle online before you do anything else, and that's exactly what you should do. You gotta do this first. Number two, give adequate consideration to what you're gonna put in your car. I mentioned earlier about the potential that your vehicle could have a higher than typical market value later because it's one of a kind. Well, that's not true if you select options nobody else would like. Think about that before you check all the boxes. Number three, plan ahead. Do you have a timing issue with a current vehicle? What are you going to do with it? Sell it outright? Trade it? Keep it? Give it to a family member? If it's a lease car, when does the lease mature? Do you know when it expires? What are you going to do if the lease expiration and the arrival of your new car has a time gap? You might have to rent a car. Either way, don't leave yourself a problem to deal with later. Number four, find a good dealer to work with. Not only do you want to reward good people with your business, but why would you want to set yourself up for a headache when a little advanced due diligence can help make sure you'll be treated right? Call or visit a few dealers and choose one that you like. You don't want the arrival of your dream car to be clouded with a nightmare experience with a bad dealer. Number five, if the dealer asks for a deposit, make sure it's refundable. It always is with the good dealers. Only the skunks in the business claim you can't get your money back. That's nonsense. Just because you put a deposit down and said you wanted the card does not mean you are locked in without any way of backing out. Make sure the dealer is giving your money back if everything doesn't turn out just the way you wanted and you decide you got to back out. Number six, negotiate the deal just as firmly committed to getting the best deal as you would with any other vehicle that you might have considered buying and negotiate it before you put the order in. Remember what I said about how easy this was for the dealer? Remember that they didn't have to stock it. They're not paying overhead costs and inventory costs on the lot. Make this factory order both your dream car and the best new car deal you've ever had. Number seven, don't leave the dealership until everything is in writing. The options you want, the color, the price, the fact that your deposit is refundable, everything. Get it all down on paper. Now, a note for some of you who are watching this and you're thinking, oh shoot, I got a factory order out there that's coming in and I didn't negotiate anything. I have no idea what the end cost is gonna be. What am I gonna do now? Well, take a breath, relax. If you fail to negotiate the price before you place the order, still follow this advice. Wait for your car to show up and then negotiate the deal like you're after the bargain of a lifetime. Remember all the reasons why. All right, let's summarize. A factory order can get you an awesome vehicle, custom to you. Be patient, knowing it takes a little time. Make sure all your questions are answered, nail down all the details, and get it all in writing. Make sure your deposit is refundable. And maybe the most important point, because so many of you are unaware of this, negotiate it like it's a car the dealer really wants to get rid of. It has less costs associated with it than any other new car currently sitting on their lot. And that's to your advantage. Everyone on the Homework Guy team hopes that you thoroughly enjoy your new car, custom built just for you. Go get them, Tiger! If you enjoyed this Homework Guy video and have a topic suggestion for a future video, feel free to request it in the comment section down below. Many videos come right from subjects our loyal followers ask for, and we always appreciate it when you ask. If you appreciate our video today on factory orders, 
consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below or on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We use your tips to sponsor Maggie. This amazing young lady works with university students to help them get more out of their studies and ultimately more out of their lives after school. We enthusiastically sponsor Maggie and she thanks you in advance. Just like the Homework Guy channel, Maggie knows that you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip today, no problem. Just help us get the word out. The Homer Guy team loves it when you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. Again, help us get to that million subscriber mark. And by doing so, you're helping to defeat the dishonest operators in the car business who are still trying to figure out that good old fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock! I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.